players to watch and what to watch at, at all for the preseason. Let's get this started. So, for the players to watch for me, number one is Amon Ross St. Brown. I would consider putting Ben Sewell considering that he's our first round draft pick, but I expect Ben to play well. Amon Ross, our fourth round draft pick, has been killing it in the offseason, and I want to see what he does. He's a player that's just really intriguing me. He'd be the college play, and I was amazed it fell to the fourth round. I want to see he truly does play well and has that Cooper Cup like connection of golf they've been working with. Number two is Kanai Sewell. I haven't really got to hear much from Ben in the offseason. I want to see how he does just in the preseason. He's our first round pick, who people say is supposed to be the Quinn and Nelson of tackles. Number three is Jeff Okuda. Jeff Okuda has just played amazingly well this offseason, I can't wait to see what he does. Number four, Juno Quora. Juno Quora, I've already made a video on him, I'm so pumped to see what he does. I heard he's been killing it in padded practices, I'm so excited to see what he does. Number five is Will Harris. Will Harris has done himself a pretty good day, apparently, in coverage drills. And I'm more and more excited to see what Will Harris can do and see if he can finally move up to that college tape that I like. Position battles to watch. Jeff Okuda versus Amani O. Okuda versus Amani O is kind of a big one. Amani O had himself a pretty solid season last year. 59% completion percentage, over 50 tackles, one interception, and a fair amount of passive defense, and three touchdowns allowed, and a 99.2 quarterback rating. Nothing insane, but still a good year, especially considering the bank the 32nd ranked defense, and the worst defense in franchise history. Compared to Okuda, who had a struggling rookie year, but has apparently just been outright great at camp. And I can't wait to see who he does. He has that potential. He is that number three overall pick. And number two, the receiver battle. No only player with uh, a certified position to start winning. It's going to be interesting to see how the preseason plays that out. Number three is the inside linebacker position. And I'm excited to see what happens between Alex Anzalone, um, Sean Dye and Hamilton, and Jelani Tavai. And I'm a really big fan of Sean Dye and Hamilton and Jelani Tavai. Number four, Will Harris versus Dean Marlowe. Still, the strong safety position matters, and I want to see what happens between Will Harris and Dean Marlowe. Marlowe has added himself some flashy moments, but Will Harris has apparently done great in the offseason. They're fine the slot, slot cornerback battle. Arguably, maybe more important than our safety position battle, but with the deciding on the Kelly Coleman, I want to see if it's just a clear cut who's the best slot corner. Non line position players to watch, just for fun. Number one, Stacey Mail, he's my favorite player, and I want to see what he does in New Orleans. He's the player who I've been following since BYU, and it's just fun to watch in my opinion. Number two is Diami Brown, receiver I actually heavily looked into this draft process and even mocked. Number three is Zach Wilson, he was my favorite quarterback at the Trans, and I love watching the BYU. Number four is Andre Sisco, fantastic safety, he was named with Walmart, but he's very raw, so it'll be interesting to see how he does. Number five is Terrace Marshall, who's just an absolute monster LSU, another player that I also heavily mocked, him and Diami Brown. So I'm very excited to see what happens with the Lions here. I think it's going to be an absolutely insane preseason for us, and I hope that we get to see a lot of the good things, and also maybe see what maybe might be some of our struggles. All right, I'll see you guys, and hopefully this will post. Bye, guys.